How do those pad things work? Pads are worn in your underwear during your period to absorb your menstrual flow. The pad is a soft, cotton-like layer on the top and a sticky strip on the bottom to keep it firmly in place in your underwear. So, how exactly do I use a pad? It's super easy. You just unwrap the pad, pull off the paper strip that covers the sticky part on the bottom, then you stick the pad on the center part of your underwear. If your pad has wings, then wrap them around the sides. When you need to change it, just pull the pad off to remove it. Fold it up and put it in the wrapper from the new pad you're going to use, or you can wrap it in toilet paper. Then just throw it away in the trash can. Most girls' restrooms also have little trash cans next to the toilet where you can put your used pads and panty liners. Oh, so that's what those are for. Yes, they're really convenient and discreet. But remember, never flush pads or panty liners because they'll clog the toilet. Wow, you're right. That is super easy. But how often do I change a pad? You should change your pad every four to six hours or more often if your flow is heavy. They make pads in different absorbencies, so you can find the one that's best for you. Oh, and here's a tip. Always change your pad before bedtime. You can also use special overnight pads that are larger in the back to help avoid leaks when you're lying down. I live with my dad. Do I tell him about my period? Listen, it's really up to you. I know what's happening to your body can seem embarrassing, but it's a normal thing that every girl goes through. And of course, your dad doesn't know what it's like to have a period, but he does understand why and how it happens. So if you feel comfortable telling your dad that you started your period, then great. He may actually surprise you with how cool he is about it. If you prefer not to talk to him though, that's fine too. If it makes you feel more comfortable, then talk to your mom, a step-parent, a friend's mom, or another adult you trust. Especially if you have questions before you start or need someone to buy you pads so you're prepared when you do start. What can I do to stay healthy while my body goes through all these changes? The three things you need to do during puberty are eat properly, exercise, and get plenty of rest. Select a healthy range of foods that will help you get all the vitamins and nutrients your body needs. And minimize junk food. Eat lots of fresh fruits and vegetables, proteins like meat, milk, eggs and beans, and complex carbohydrates like whole wheat breads, pastas, and cereals. Another way to be healthy as you're growing into your new body is to exercise every day. Try going for a walk, riding your bike, or dancing to your favorite song. It will keep your body strong and healthy, and it's a lot of fun too. And most importantly, get plenty of sleep. About eight to nine hours every night. That way, your body has lots of energy for the next day. What if I have more questions that come up? Who should I ask? The best place to start is to talk to your mom, dad, or another adult you trust. It can be your aunt, a friend's mom, your grandmother, or an older sibling who's been there and done that. I know that asking questions about puberty may seem a little embarrassing at first, but don't be afraid. They've all been through puberty themselves. So when you have questions, don't wait. Start the conversation. Trust me, you'll feel better after you do. And you'll feel good knowing that the people you love and trust can be there to help.